What's up, everyone? So real quick, I wanted to hop through and go over my trade today in Duolingo, which satisfied the bread and butter HVC day two and beyond setup. And let's just dive right in. So first things first, want to cover the volume trigger and why this was even on my list of names to trade today. Obviously, I trade earnings gap ups, you know this, and we look quickly just to go over the volume on the gap date, the closing range, and the price percent change. So that's how we you know, get these in our wheelhouse, right? So this was, it labels the highest volume in one year, but if we look back, this is 3.44 million volume, uh, million shares traded on gap day. And if we look back, it hasn't seen that much since Friday of 2022, June 24th. This is rebalancing volume, so I'm not even going to count it, right? In terms of an earnings report response, this is higher than the IPO day and higher than any other earnings day. So that to me is the highest volume ever. And, you know, that is the strongest form of institu institutional accumulation that we have. So that is the main reason this is on my list. Then we look 21% price change, massive closing range on this day, 97%. That's about as good as it's going to get. So this clearly should be a focus. So Friday I was out, I wasn't trading. So obviously, you know, this morning I wanted to use the weakness we saw to get in and live with the results, right? So if we look here, I can plot the HVC right here. Let me just go like that. And that's actually not 100% accurate. Let me go up a little bit, sorry. Go there. So we can see a good response to the HVC, right? This is exactly what we're going to see. Weakness, multi, you know, Menace is a five minute chart, you know, a good hour plus of consolidation right above the HVC. And then we take the VWAP and then we're off to the races. So I added here, I had limit orders, they filled, and then I bought a little bit more once we reclaimed the VWAP. And now, you know, obviously I'm positioned, I think with a 15% equity position in at 203 and a half, I think is my average cost. So that is how I view Duolingo. And then if we look a little bit further, we can honestly just pop it over to a weekly chart if we want. And oops, that's another daily. We'll go here. Another daily, excuse me, sorry. This is the weekly chart, right? So we're looking at all time highs. And then if we break last week's weekly high, which is 217, we're off to the races without really any sellers. So that's how I'm viewing Duolingo. And I think that, you know, obviously in terms of a bread and butter setup, that's about as good as it's going to get. So we'll see, live with the results and go from there. Now, in terms of my focus list for tomorrow, I've already done my screening, all that. I'm looking at STNE, which today was the highest volume in one year. One year. Great closing range, 12% price change on the day. Not amazing, but still good enough. This AI, I love how it's just gone quiet. No one really talks about it, but it's building out a nice bottom here. I actually started a very three and a half, you know, very small three and a half percent position in it today, about 26.7. So we'll see how that goes. Dash, I messed up. I should have been buying it this morning as well. It's showed RS in interesting days. I think this was, or maybe it was this day it showed RS, kind of died. And then this morning it showed great relative strength and broke through the HVC and then closed really strong. So I'm looking at that, see if I can get back in kind of like with Duolingo, you know, with limit orders down at the HVC. We'll see. DraftKings, this was a nice day today. Would love to be, you know, adding. I didn't, but I probably could have been adding through the trend line. And then maybe, you know, right at this 35, 6, 7 area. Um, we closed just below. So we'll see you tomorrow how that goes. Shop, I wanted one more day of consolidation on 60. You Maybe we'll come back down, test this HVC one more time before I add. But, you know, it's acting really well. And then uh, there's this trend line over here, too, to be cognizant of. That has been, you know, obviously rough estimate there. But has been acting as resistance. We'll see. Duolingo already covered D-Dog. Didn't trade this on Friday. Like I said, I was out. So same deal. I'm looking for this 102.20 area to be support. PLTR, again, wasn't trading Friday. This would have been pretty nice to take, but either way, holding up really well. We'll see how it goes. So that overall, I think I have, what, eight names here. So I'm looking at STNE. This will be the main focus on tomorrow's open. 
uh, as long as there are no other gappers or weird gap downs, you know, with this name after hours, we'll see. AI, this is a different setup, kind of just in the pits. We'll see how it, you know, intuition plays out. DA uh, dash retest of this HVC, DraftKings, shop all above HVC, Duolingo, act well today, DDog above HVC, PLTR above HVC. So I hope that was helpful. Five minutes of review and you know, just names to prep for tomorrow. So you have somewhere to start in your, you know, nightly routine tonight. So that was helpful and we'll talk to you guys later. See ya.